Yes, hello everyone. Welcome on your Pdia platform. I hope you all are fine and your preparation for gate 2023 is going very well. Guys, as you all know, NPTEL questions are very good enriched resource which is available to us for gate preparation. Okay. And last year, we analyzed that and based on that, we started some module also. This year also, the module is available for gate preparation, NPTEL question module. Okay. And you can go for that if you are preparing for gate examination. On YouTube also, guys, we are going to cover some important NPTEL questions with all related concept. Okay. So now, let today also, uh, I am going to, you know, solve one of the NPTEL assignment question with concept so that you will be able to apply your mind. Guys, gate and, you know, NPTEL questions, these are very much conceptual, conceptual question you are going to find out. Although the concept will be very fundamental, but yes, you need to practice all those uh, kind of concepts. So this question, let us solve. NPTEL assignment question, common data question. So two questions we are going to solve, question number one and two. So what he is saying, guys, consider a 35 liter evacuated rigid bottle. So this bottle is evacuated 35 liter that is surrounded by atmosphere at 100 kilo Pascal 20 degree Celsius. So atmosphere is at this pressure, this temperature, a valve is at the neck of the bottle is now opened and the atmospheric air is allowed to flow into the bottle. The air trapped in the bottle eventually reaches thermal equilibrium. Very important point guys. Very important point. Okay. So let me write it here. equilibrium with the atmosphere thermal equilibrium okay as a result of heat transfer through the walls of the bottle means this is not a kind of adiabatic case guys heat transfer is there normally when we solve these kind of unsteady state heat transfer problem unsteady state uh, what you can say uh, known flow uh, questions when we solve we assume uh, uh, some kind of uh, what you can say uh, no heat transfer no work transfer so unsteady state questions when we solve we don't consider any kind of heat or work transfer in that case we find out the final temperature but here he is he is giving you some kind of heat transfer is taking place and you need to consider that heat transfer and based on that you need to find something so that we are going to find out in the uh, question one and two so the wall remain open during the process so that the trapped air will also reach mechanical equilibrium with the atmosphere guys so this is the data guys which he has provided you and now he is asking you two things First part, he is asking you to determine the final mass inside the bottle. What is the final mass of the air inside the bottle? And in second part, he is asking you to determine the net heat transfer through the walls, wall of the bottle to the surrounding. So net heat transfer he is asking you. So question is very simple. If you go with basic concept, easily you will be able to answer this question, guys. So now, as you know, this is a case of unsteady state. This is a case of unsteady state. It's a case of flow, obviously, because the mass is entering into the system. Mass is entering or mass is leaving. So if there is some kind of mass exchange is taking place between system and surrounding, that is a case of flow. Now flow systems or open systems are of two types, steady or unsteady. So steady system, steady flow will be what? When the mass in equal to mass out or there is no accumulation of mass is taking place or energy is equal to an energy out, there is no energy accumulation is taking place. But in this case, there is mass entering because when you are opening the valve of the bottle, mass is entering. Okay, so accumulation of mass is taking place. So but when mass is going to enter inside the bottle, suppose that bottle is our control volume. So the mass is entering inside the control volume. So control volume mass is going to change. dm by dt of the control volume, this is non zero. Okay. That's why I'm saying this is a case of what? This is a case of unsteady state. Okay. Now for unsteady state, if you want to write the mass balance or energy balance equation. So these are the mass balance equation guys. Mass in minus mass out. This is equal to del m by del t of the control volume. Okay. Or you can write it here one more equation. Energy in, rate of energy in minus energy out. That is equal to del e by del T of the control volume like this you can write okay and you know guys here in this case there is no mass going out mass is only entering there is no mass going out mass is only entering inside the system so you can write it here the rate of mass in that is equal to del M by del T of the control volume okay or the total mass which entered total mass which entered that is equal to mass final inside the control volume minus mass initial okay so mass initial is zero because the bottle is evacuated bottle evacuated hai. so whatever mass is entered whatever mass is entered that is equal to the mass final 
okay whatever mass entered that is equal to the mass final okay now further for energy balance also you can write how you can write the energy balance guys for this case energy balance and neglecting the kinetic and potential energy changes so if you will neglect neglect kinetic energy and potential energy changes okay so there is no energy inflow or outflow due to the kinetic energy or what uh, potential energy okay and also there is no work transfer but the heat transfer is there so you cannot say ki energy out is zero because heat can go out okay energy can go out in the form of heat okay but there is no mass flow so you can write it here energy in energy in as but we are neglecting the kinetic and potential energy changes so you can, uh, let me write in in in, uh, in this term energy in minus energy out that is equal to change in energy of the control volume something like this also we can write energy in minus energy out equal to change in energy of the control volume okay guys so now further if i will take one more case i hope you have noted down this particular thing or if i will write it here if i will write it here another particular equation because that is also important for us and then we will move to the question guys then we will move to the question solving the question okay but yes before that we need to uh, you know understand the basic concepts chaliye good so guys we can write energy in minus energy out equal to this so you can write it here something like this energy in you can write it as enthalpy which is entering enthalpy which is entering enthalpy in okay plus heat which is entering okay let me write the specific term in term in terms of specific uh, energies i am writing guys energy enthalpy in plus q in minus q out because there is no enthalpy out because mass is not going outside okay there is no kinetic energy going outside there is no because mass is not going out so kinetic energy enthalpy term and uh, work term i am not writing i am only writing q out okay that is equal to what change in internal energy of the control volume something like this small u because i am writing these in what specific energies term i'm writing them in terms of the specific energy changes so further you can write it as enthalpy which is entering plus this q in q out i'm writing it as net heat exchange okay this i'm writing it as net heat exchange that is equal to change in internal energy of the control volume or it is nothing but u final minus u initial okay u final minus u initial so this is the final governing equation guys for this case enthalpy in plus q net that is equal to this is zero why because initially the bottle is evacuated there is no mass inside the uh, bottle and if there is no mass the initial internal energy will be zero that's why you can write enthalpy which is entering plus q net net heat transfer that is equal to internal energy final so guys this is the final equation governing equation for this case you need to remember enthalpy in plus q net that is equal to u final internal energy final now let us move to the question guys determine the mass inside the bottle okay so we initially the bottle is completely evacuated you opened the valve and then you allowed the air to enter inside the bottle such that it is reaching some thermal equilibrium and at the same time you are uh, keeping the valve open so that finally it is reaching the mechanical equilibrium guys what do you understand by equilibrium what is equilibrium equilibrium means equality equality of what equality of mechanical forces if there is a mechanical equilibrium equality of temperature if there is a thermal equilibrium equality of phase if there is a phase equilibrium equality of chemical potential if there is a chemical equilibrium so a body a system and surrounding are said to be in thermodynamic equilibrium if they are in mechanical equilibrium thermal equilibrium chemical equilibrium as well as phase equilibrium so in this case there is no chemical reaction taking place so there is no logic of considering any kind of uh, chemical equilibrium there is no such kind of what you can say uh, phase change is taking place so i'm not talking about any kind of phase equilibrium but yes mass exchange heat exchange is taking place that's why he has given you mechanical equilibrium as well as thermal equilibrium so mechanical equilibrium is force balance the internal force equal to external force and 
the temperature inside the system that is equal to the temperature outside the system surrounding in case of thermal equilibrium. So, when there is no temperature gradient between system surrounding, the body, uh, the system is surrounding, they are said to be in thermal equilibrium. When there is no uh, mechanical forces difference between system and surrounding, then they are said to be in mechanical equilibrium. Okay. So, if they are in mechanical equilibrium, guys, if they are in mechanical equilibrium, it means we can say internal force equal to external force. Okay. So, area, let, let us consider the valve area only, the valve from which the air is entering. So, area of the valve or the pressure inside, again this is equal to what? Area of the valve into pressure ex, ex, outside, pressure outside. So, area area is same. It means when there is a mechanical equilibrium, when there is a mechanical equilibrium, because here the pressure is, uh, the area is same. Okay. That is why you can write it here for this case internal pressure equal to external pressure okay external pressure and external pressure is nothing but p atmospheric which is 100 kilo pascal so finally the pressure which is reaching inside the bottle is 100 kilo pascal guys we got very clear idea the final pressure which is the reaching inside the bottle is 100 kilo pascal now air you can treat it as an ideal gas okay and for ideal gas you can apply ideal gas equation pv equal to mrt Okay. So, PV equal to MRT, this is the ideal gas equation which we are having. So, we are interested in finding out this mass. So, mass inside the bottle, which is nothing but the final mass or mass which entered inside the bottle, that is nothing but PV by RT, where P is 100 kilo Pascal. V is the volume, 35 liter, but you need to convert this into meter because you know 1000 liters equal to 1 meter cube. So, using this relationship, uh, I am writing it here 35 into 10 key power minus 3. I am converting liter into meter cube divided by R. So, here you are putting pressure in kilo Pascal. So, this you need to take in kilo joule per kg Kelvin. So, this will be 0 0.287. The final temperature will be equal to what the atmospheric temperature because the system surrounding they are in thermal equilibrium. So, the temperature is 22 degrees Celsius, but you need to put in Kelvin. So, 273 plus 22, you will get 295. Okay, so guys, old data we are having. So if you use this data, you will get the final mass. Okay, so this final mass or mass which entered, this will be known to you very easily if you will calculate this. So please carry out the calculation and tell me what answer you are getting for this. Okay, so guys, if you solve, you will get 0 0.041, 0 0.041. 339 kg guys this is the final answer you are going to get guys and that's why the right answer for this question is c 0 0.041 this is a mass final mass inside the bottle okay now in second part he is asking you what he is asking you the net heat transfer guys he is asking you net heat transfer and for that guys which equation i, I, I have obtained enthalpy in enthalpy in plus q net the unit will be kilojoule per kg guys the unit will be kilojoule per kg that is equal to internal energy final so this is a master equation guys we have obtained so using this equation only you will get the answer so air is an ideal gas so this you can write it as cpti plus q net that is equal to cvt final although Although the temperature I entry, entry temperature is what? The 22 degree Celsius, 22 degree Celsius. And the final temperature is what? That is also 22 degree Celsius. Because air finally entering, after entering into the bottle, it is reaching some thermal equilibrium. Okay. So Q net, you will get minus, that will be minus Cp minus Cv T. So I am writing both these temperatures as, as T only. Okay, so when you take this side, some minus you need to take common and that minus is representing what? The net heat transfer is there from system to the surrounding. So finally, the net heat exchange we got using this because we know the temperature, the final temperature, but that answer will come out in kilojoule per kg. But we want answer in what? Kilojoule. He asked you the net heat transfer in kilojoule guys. So you need to multiply this Q net with mass and mass is also known to us guys. So please carry out the calculation and this is nothing but minus R, Cp minus Cv is R, R is what 0 0.287 kilojoule per kg 
into temperature 295. So solving this, you will get Q in kilojoule per kg. Okay, you will get heat transfer because this is small Q net. Heat transfer in kilojoule per kg you will get. So guys, if you solve, you will get some answer close to 84.665. So let me write it here. 84.665 kilojoule per kg. Fine. But we want heat transfer in what guys? We want this Q net. So this Q net is nothing but minus Q net into mass. The final mass. The mass which is there. And how much mass we calculated guys? This is 84.665 into 0 0.04133. Nine. Okay, so 84.665, if you multiply it with the mass, which is 0 0.041339, you will get the exact heat transfer, which is minus 3.5 kilojoule. So the net heat transfer will be what? Net heat transfer will be 3.5 kilojoule. Okay, and the net heat transfer, he can ask you the direction also. What is the direction of the net heat transfer? It means net heat transfer is taking uh, place from the surrounding to the system or system to the surrounding. So net heat transfer will be from the system to the surrounding. So heat is will go, net heat transfer will be there from uh, bottle to the surrounding. Okay, I hope you got the clarity. I hope you got the concept related to this con uh, question, guys. So I discussed, okay, the related concept, the basic concepts related to unsteady state heat transfer, guys. The energy balance, mass balance for this case, I discussed with you. Okay, and then we applied those basic concepts uh, for solving this question. I hope this question is very clear to you. Okay, these are very typical question, guys. The questions related to unsteady state heat transfer, you are going to find out. In some cases, you are going to find out there is no heat transfer work transfer given. In that case, he can ask you the final temperature. Okay, the final temperature generally uh, in case of filling of tank or emptying of tank, he can ask you the final temperature. Like in case of filling of tank, uh, you know, we, uh, if, if we consider there is no heat transfer, that is a very typical case, very typical, typical case. In case of uh, filling of tank, if there is no heat transfer, then inlet enthalpy will be equal to exit enthalpy. For this case, it is not valid, but, but for, for, but uh, for, Q net zero. If, for example, you are having uh, some kind of insulated bottle, okay, some kind of insulated bottle you are having, then uh, this in, in inlet enthalpy will be equal to the final internal energy. Then you can write CPTI that is equal to T final uh, CV, and in that case, T final will come out what gamma times TI. Okay, this is a very typical case which we use for solving some kind of you know filling of tank problem. Uh, in that case, suppose if someone is asking you, uh, the examiner is asking you to find out the final temperature. So that case we can use if there is no heat transfer. Very typical standard case, the formula which we remember. Okay, but in this case, the heat transfer is taking place. That's why we used this particular formula. These are the two cases. Another one, he can give you some work transfer. He can give you, you know, some kind of, uh, some kind of uh, heating coil he can attach here some kind of heating coil is there which is heating. So in that case you need to consider the work transfer also. So guys the master equation, the general energy balance equation is very very important. You need to be very clear how to use that equation. If you are able to use that equation then you can solve any problem related to unsteady state uh, case. Okay. I hope this is very clear to you. Some more question we will solve uh, through these kind of interaction guys. I am not going to keep it you know large. Very uh, precisely we are going to solve these kind of questions next again we will meet and we will solve some more question guys thank you keep preparing and for any kind of suggestion query you can shoot your query in the comment section surely we will consider and we will proceed accordingly thank you good luck keep preparing